one. Hi, I'm Mel um, and I'm going to be showing you how to do your NMC OSCE clinical skill of obtaining catheter stream urine sample. Um, and today we're going to be using the new protocol, so it's not the one in the Royal Marsden, but it's the one the test centres are accepting, okay? So before we get started, I am just going to go into the station now. Um, and uh, we'll do it as if um, I was you, and I'm a nurse, and I'm doing my NMC OSCE. So I'm going to gel my hands, and I'm just going to confirm with the OSCE examiner that my patient's three-way ID check has been completed, that allergy status confirmed, and I've obtained informed consent for the procedure. Is that right, examiner? Yes. Okay, now I can get start preparing all my uh, clinical equipment that I need for this procedure. So I'm going to presume that my trolley has been washed and cleaned with um, soap and water in the last 24 hours. Is that right, examiner? Yes. Great, so I can don an apron now. In the NMC OSCE, we need to show correct use of PPE. So the PPE needed for this procedure is an apron or one of the PPE protections is an apron. So this prevents my um, patient getting contaminated from microbes from my uniform and it also stops me coming into contact with bodily fluids which will be um, which could spill on my uniform during the procedure. Okay um, so we've checked the trolleys clean I'm now gonna check the trays clean. On my table I'll find a tray um, I'm going to use the 70% Clinel wipe to make sure it's clean. So I clean the um, bottom of the tray, then I clean the outside uh, edges and then the actual outside of the tray and I'll let that air dry for 30 seconds. I'll dispose of this in the clinical waste. I'm going to need a syringe for this procedure which is intact and in date, it's a 10ml syringe. Um, I'm also going to need a needle. Um, sometimes in the OSCE they have drainage bag ports that have lure locks, so a syringe isn't needed. It's just the lure lock will sight into the actual port itself. But sometimes we actually need a needle because they've got the older fashioned um, uh, drainage bags where you have to use a needle to access the port and obtain the urine sample. So we're going to pretend that this is an older port um, so I've got a 10 ml syringe which is intact and in date, I've got a needle which is intact and in date. I'm also going to need two alcohol swabs, 70%, which are also in date, 2023, 2023 expiry. I'm going to need a clamp, I'm going to need a pair of clamps to clamp between um, the port and the bag. I'm going to need a sample to put my urine in after I've uh, obtained it and I am going to need hand gel and I'm also going to need gloves and because I have got a needle access port I'm going to take a sharp spin with me okay so this has been signed for it's fine it's opened I'm going to put that in the bottom of my trolley and I'm also going to take an inco pad with me as well, if that's available on the table. I'll put that into the trolley as well. Right, I'm now ready to go back to my patient.